This is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Well, Pastor, we have a problem on this planet, and um, dry temperatures from both below the Earth and above the Earth are plaguing. Now, it, 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 it's very strange to observe because um, below the ground, there's a type of dryness that is um, just beyond belief. And that's due to a, what well, you talk about shifts, uh, I can tell you a little something about that, but in Canada, certainly in Alberta, uh, going um, east down into Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan's going to be another area that they're gonna have to watch for um, because it's so incredibly dry. There's not a lot of moisture there. Here's the ironic part, Pastor, as the moisture did fall, the earth is absorbing the moisture so quick that it still leaves a, an extreme dryness in those places. Texas is going to have the exact same problem. Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, uh, Colorado, and Kansas in that specific area. And then on the East Coast, down to South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee. Despite the rain, something is happening underneath the earth is drying out the soil very fast. And um, that, that's a key in understanding what's actually happening or, or pouring okay, in now, wait a minute. through the atmosphere to the wait, earth. Okay, but wait a minute. All right, all right, Texas, Oklahoma, Colorado, New Mexico, Alabama, Tennessee, and Georgia. But what's causing, and Saskatchewan, Canada, what's causing there to be a dryness below ground? Well, I mean, what's, why? That has to do with the depth of the crust of these areas. And uh, if people do their homework, they're going to find out something very curious, and it is this. Everybody talks about a wobble of the earth, right? That the earth is wobbling. Yes. Um, I need to, uh, well, let's just say it this way. Inside the earth, all the magma, as the, as the rotation of the uh, fluid inside the earth, as it rotates, is being pulled into uh, certain directions, okay? Okay. It's, it's kind of like if you took a... Um, if you took a water ball, have you ever seen a droplet of water in space? And if you make it big, it's still a sphere, but it, it, it's a distorted sphere. Yes, yes. That same process is happening to the Earth. And what is, what's happening, Pastor Paul, is that um, all the constants, all the, the standards and the foundations of the heavens are beginning to loosen, meaning uh, the, 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 the momentums and celestial mechanics and things of that nature are beginning to alter because everything in our solar system is altering. Everything. And the Earth is now, um, well, I'll give you an example. Every day or every month, let's just say every two weeks, you may be up 100 feet from where you were and back down to, you know, where you were before. So the Earth itself is, is um, convulsing back and forth, is convulsing. So then the altitude and everything else is being affected. Now, this is tracked at very high altitudes where the compression event is taking place. And through GPS, because they're in a type of stationary orbit, um, they can see the fluctuations of the Earth going up and down. By the way, the GPS satellites were not put there so people could find their way on Earth. I know people think that, but they, need, they needed to find out what the sphere of the Earth was doing. And it's okay, like a water balloon. It really is sitting so, out in the middle of space. Yeah, it's so it's bolting. literally... It's, it's literally to convulse. So you're saying that the Earth is literally mo not, not just only spinning and orbiting, but actually is moving, buckling and moving, not, not into the point of earthquakes, but, but, but certain, I mean, but earthquakes have got to be coming from that, right? I mean, I mean, and what's causing the earth to do that? Now, that is an influence out there. Now, I happen to believe we live in a binary, binary system. Okay. Which means okay. we have two suns. Okay. One you can see and one you do not. This other sun will have its own solar system, right? Um, I'm not the only one who is aware of that or right. believes that. I'll just say believes in that. Right. But uh, we're certainly going to have to entertain this entire... See, when people, in my opinion, when people speak about Planet X, I would, I would, I would say... I don't want to go too deep, but I would just say this other solar system would come in, and its nature is very different than what anybody is used to, right? And it's going to cause, I can say this definitively, 100%, people will know there is a God. 
when the, when that point comes, oh, I, I can say that Whoa. with absolute certainty. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. Does the second wave of energy is it is it is it being caused? I mean, you're the you're the guy that brought up the five waves of energy. You're you're the guy that introduced us to really the whole internet world about three or four years ago. We've had the first wave. You say the second wave is coming sometime late December. Uh, was it maybe December 26th? I mean, is this causing everything we're seeing here? I mean, is it causing... What is it causing? Is it causing us buckling? It's an association. It's a force in association with it. What's causing these waves is, is massive. It's enormous. ...in Chicago. Uh, and the conclusion, really, that we have reached at Light Reading in the last 12 months is that our industry is no longer just enabling enterprise and telecom communications. The companies you guys work for are now powering the next phase of globalization. And that really is the big theme of this year's big communications event, exploring the opportunities and the risks uh, that are presented by this unprecedented virtualization-driven worldwide economic shift. Today's service providers aren't just building networks, they're literally creating a ubiquitous virtualized global infrastructure that ultimately will empower all 7 billion inhabitants of the planet, wherever they are, to not simply communicate, but to participate, to innovate. And to He's anxious to see change. Our smart city proposal will create connections and ladders of opportunity for everyone. Denver's plan starts with an intelligent data ecosystem which will gather information from RTD, police and private companies and make it available to anyone. It is our spirit and soul which is on the line right now, a city at a tipping point. phrase you just heard could change. New on Wake Up, if you've been any favors game or pretty much any game around here, you've heard the Canadian National Anthem. And as Teresa said, the, the anthem could change. It's a move that could make it more gender neutral. This is all happening, of course, as the uh, transgender debate continues around our country and across the world. the largest earthquake drill in Northwest history. A heart-wrenching moment on the Hill today. MP Maril Belanger, his health in steep decline, appeared in the House to save his private member's bill. The bill will change the national anthem. And the lyrics to our national anthem will be a hot topic before the celebrations. Gender-neutral lyrics for O Canada are up for debate. Colleagues say Belanger's desire to see the lyrics of O Canada changed from In All Thy Sons Command to In All of Us Command has consumed much of his energy and focus these past months, even as his condition continued to deteriorate. Have some incredible and um, you're looking at pure radiation and gases and uh, 
radioactive particles coming into our solar system from this wave. Already, Pastor Paul, as, as, a, as an indication of the closeness of this wave, there's a physical effect that people will begin to become nauseated for no reason at all. They will become nauseated as though they are sick on the stomach without cause. Their taste buds will begin to change. Um, and that's because of the elements that will be pouring into the atmosphere. It has the, the exotic elements that are coming into this solar system are so incredibly different from what uh, we're used to dealing with that many things will begin to change. Life forms will begin to mutate and things of that nature. And um, this will precede the coming of, uh, you know, with some not so good things. Um, but there are all, there are also, there, there's a pull and effect with this, um, with the source of this wave. Okay. Um, just being careful of how it. Yeah, I understand. I understand. more information out as it comes because there will come a point when it's not going to matter um, if anybody told anybody or not. But well, let me ask. It's important that the people understand what they're dealing with. All right, now, Mike, okay, and I understand that you have a confidentiality or uh, classified. But here's the thing: what you're saying, the point is coming when it won't matter no more because it's just it, because it's so evident what's happening, so visible. The the and you're saying what's coming. Is going, there's no doubt people are going to know there is a God. Now, there is scripture that tells us that every eye, I mean, look, every eye is going to see him. Every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess. People are going to be crying for rocks and mountains to crush him and to hide him from the face of him that sits on the throne. They're going to be realizing that the apocalypse, the coming apocalypse, is truly upon them. And you're saying this, this source that is sending the waves or causing the waves, the huge waves that Jesus said, the heavens will be shaken like and stars will be like falling like fig trees casting an untimely fig. Men's hearts would fail them for fear for looking after things coming upon the earth for the powers of heaven are going to be shaken. So you're saying the shaking has begun. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it really is, Pastor Paul, and, and no one will ever doubt there's a creator when this begins to happen. Now, that that's a time within itself that uh, it's going to be undeniable. It's going to be quick, fast, and furious. It cannot be... I'll put it to you this way, Pastor. By the time probes pick up certain things uh, in less than hours, certain things will be upon the earth. So there's no time to really prep for that, right? Which right. is why Scripture is so incredibly important. But there's another component that's being missed. Uh, we deal with the physical components of things and the scientific outlook of what could be. But the spiritual implications, and what I mean by that is the nature of man, uh, the nature of the mind changing, our perception changing. It's going to be distorted beyond belief. And um, this has to do with the magnetos. The only reason we have clear thought in the first place is because we have a, a relatively stable magnetosphere. If that begins to fail, here, here's going to be the results. Now, they have done this over and over and over again, right? This is not a joke. This is not made up. This is not for just, you know, an interesting story. If something happens, a person will be caught between the conscience and the subconscious, which means the person will walk on their feet and not be able to determine if they're dreaming or not. Is that because of, okay, can, let's talk about that. Perception is going to change. Well, there's, there's free, I know there's frequencies, and I, this is one thing that uh, uh, John Bro Jr. brought up when he said, you know, he's a nuclear engineer and he been spent a lot of time down deep in uh, sub, uh, nuclear submarines and he said they would take them down fairly deep and then it affected the frequencies that they were operating in and said so they would get to a certain place where the frequencies they, they couldn't re recognize at times was this real or was this were they dreaming or was this reality they, there, was, there was times that this they, that they were experienced this because of different frequencies that they were under. Are you saying that the frequencies, is that what's going to cause people to have strong delusion? I mean, the Bible talks about at the end days that when the Antichrist is on the scene, when he's revealed himself, that people will receive strong delusion. Are you talking about a strong delusion? What well, you know what? This is going to be worse. So that, that strong delusion, I, in my opinion, I believe that is the beast system, right? Okay. Pastor, the, 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 what I'm speaking about here is the opening up of the other dimension. 
people think, they really do believe by these psychiatrists who, and, and behavioral scientists, who, by the way, are, they are the very foundation of the Illuminati in the first place. Uh, they make up the curriculum of which everybody is, is being taught. But anyway, a dream is not just a dream, Pastor. It is not just a dream. Um, the nature of a dream is very different. They found this out back in the 20s and the 30s. Um, that a dream, there, there's a lot of substance to a dream. For instance, uh, many people meet people in their dreams and somehow they know them, though they have never seen them. Some people have dreams and it feels like they belong there rather than here. Some people have, uh, uh, you have dreams of things that are foretelling and it's because the, it, it's really a person is really entering into another room, kind of like John was taken up by the Spirit. Right. Right. And you hear that term, by the Spirit. Well, by the Spirit or in Spirit is to be just that in spirit and when a man does dream even in the book of Job God said he will send a man into a deep sleep that he may speak to that man right. without the confusion of the world being in that man so we know there's a different nature to a dream right 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 no doubt the no doubt. There's, there's, that there's, you just described are electromagnetic in nature your brain the, brain the human brain is electromagnetic in nature the magnetosphere locks out in essence a lot of the spiritual realm from us and it's on purpose and it's good because many people couldn't have handle uh, what what has happened to certain astronauts up there and everything else but the once that begins to degrade people will be caught in a type of dream state but what they will see is not what they want to see that's not what they they don't want to see that now people who believe in christ something different happens those who believe in christ will review well, images to show you tonight of a rare and violent encounter in nature an amateur photographer from British Columbia captured a real-life angry birds battle between two iconic symbols representing Canada and the United States. Have a look at these uh, pretty interesting photos. The showdown starts with a bald eagle swooping down and landing on top of a Canada goose. Friday morning, a truly rare encounter. Camping on Spider Lake, Lisa Bell captures a bald eagle challenging a Canada goose. That, well, that was once in a lifetime. I can honestly say in 30 years I've never seen an eagle uh, a bald eagle take a Canada goose. Swooping down, the eagle seems to dominate the goose and pins it to the earth with dagger-like talons. First gender-neutral bathrooms in some schools and now gender-neutral graduation gowns. But now Schreiber High School in Port Washington breaking with one of its traditions. At graduation, gowns will be gender-neutral. No more whites for girls, blue for boys. The superintendent says it goes well beyond the transgender issue. The time has come to no longer separate students by gender and to demonstrate a more inclusive practice at graduation. He predicts next year at this time, gender neutral cap and gowns will be a nationwide trend. In the world we live in, we set up two distinct categories, man and woman, that everyone must choose between. But that doesn't actually reflect the full diversity of the human experience. Within the categories of man and woman, there is incredible diversity of gender expression and some people like me don't really feel good in either category instead of choosing we want to live in a world where gender and sexuality can be more fluid more playful and can exist outside of such explicit sorting between one category or the other inside the testimony continued the youngest to speak was Victoria Johnson who was accompanied by her mother Davina I was a proud mother of a son and a daughter and within the last year, I became a proud mother of a daughter and a daughter. Then on the other hand, uh, you had parents who talked about con concerns over their children being forced to accept these changes as the new norm. Um, I experienced firsthand the kind of harassment that children get from their peers. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. It's not your turn. Human rights for our children. Evil. In their dreams, right. which is a telltale sign they belong to Christ in the first place. But the average person, they don't know. No, they don't know their authority. Not standing in Christ now. Right. That's right. But here's something, Pastor. You got to know during this time, and it's coming. Lord, how mercy is coming. And, and, and all these uh, educated folks, they know about this. Just as you would hypnotize a person and you would, would tell that person they have just been cut by a knife and that cut manifests on their arm or wherever the knife cuts. I mean, it's a real cut, a real manifestation of that cut. 
so will the things happen to folks in this dream and, and physical state in this earth. So who's ready to deal with that? And these are some of the serious notations of what is coming, of what is forming. And it's, it's, it's going to take effect. So men will have a type of madness. Now, I'm not the only one that knows this. And this was found out a long time ago. Many experiments, including CERN, validate the fact that if this takes place, people will begin to manifest their own evils into this uh, right, th this reality, right? And it seems kind of out there, but it's also in the book of Isaiah and Jeremiah, the same thing, where men would go into a type of madness. And yep. it's not, it's not, uh, it's not based in a common happening. No, so it that, says that it. happens with the degradation of the magnetosphere. It says and, in the uh, word. That's it's, why. It says right in the word that God said, I will strike them with astonishment, with madness, both man and beast, their horses. Okay, it's in the word. So whenever God says he'll do these things, that means he has the ability to do it and he will do it. Now, there's even, it's, Jesus said, talks about the fact that people will be deceived even to the very elect if it were possible. So there's going to be a whole lot going on. The beast system is one, like you said. The beast system sends a strong delusion and deception and, and pulling together the new world order and the one world government. But what you're talking about is these frequency changes waves revealing of the next uh, dimension if you will um, God being fully revealed man's hearts being fully revealed uh, there'll be nowhere to hide there'll be nowhere to hide that's what you're saying yeah, that's right. And when the Lord says, that, when it says that the powers of the heavens will be shaken, well, the heavens are held stable by certain forces. When those are removed, well, then people will begin to know things. Yeah. You, you, you know, Pastor, you spoke about martial law and, yes. and the... Um, uh, you spoke about martial law. Yeah, that's where we want to go. That's where we want to go. Martial law. You have Glenda Jackson, the, the grandniece of... Uh, Maria uh, Woodworth Etter, who is, says while she was doing a television show with Sid Roth, that the Lord revealed to her and showed her the chaos in the streets and that martial law would be proclaimed. Uh, the question is, I'm going to ask you, is, is, it, is, it, is it legal? Is it, can the President of the United States delay the election or even cancel the election because of a declaration of martial law. Well, there are laws set up to support that either way. Um, now, in a time of war, of course, you cannot have an exchange in the commander in chief. If it's a if it's a world war or something like that, it's at a certain level. There will be no change in the commander in chief. However, I don't think it's going to operate that way, Pastor. I'll tell you why. Okay. Um, well, let's just say this. I'll give a. Um, everybody can hold me to this, but there will be uh, charcoal colored, bluish type vehicles, armored vehicles in the streets and cities. And the somebody's going to be es escorted down some stone steps. Um, and they're going to be armed, but in a uniform nobody has ever seen before. Um, this will happen at a time during the exchange in powers of this country at which case this country is going to be in a lot of disarray right everybody at, at, from the onset will think it's going to happen smoothly and you know by the book by the numbers but it's going to turn totally upside down by the people themselves you can notice right now that the people of america uh, whether let's, let's talk about donald trump uh, many support donald trump right many don't support donald trump right the supporters of donald trump are willing to stand up and to actually take bullets for Donald Trump. Right. The opposition is also willing to stand up and shoot a bullet so that he does not become president. Right. So what you're dealing with is an, uh, uh, two people with uh, two sets of people with ideologies that are totally opposed. And you know that reminds me of the last, the last, uh, the, the uh, kingdom in Daniel, which was divided against itself. Well, but can we face a fact that America does run many things in the world? 
We, Absolutely. We are, in fact, the kingdom that spans everything, and we are divided against ourselves. Absolutely. And so, and that's the last kingdom before the everlasting are you kingdom. Talking about the, are you talking about the iron and the clay trying to mix? Uh, you know, you, you get you, you got the iron and the clay, and they don't mix very good. And uh, and that that's what you're seeing happening in America is the mixing of the of the iron and the clay. And what you're saying is very true. I mean, we we are uh, we are the leaders of the world. What happens here will reverberate to Europe. To the Australia, New Zealand, to South Africa, all throughout Europe and the Western world and the whole world eventually. So it does reverberate. And what I'm hearing you say, and I want to slow down a minute, but you're saying you are you saying you see this happening? Uh, charcoal bluish colored vehicles will be escorting someone down some steps and maybe somebody else up some steps. So you're seeing a transfer of power have to be done through some type of forcible removal, maybe. I mean, is that what I'm starting to hear you say here? And why are you saying that? Do you see that happening? Do you feel that's going to happen? Or do, you, or, 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 or is there some indicators or information that may have been achieved or received that says this? Very possibly, this is what could happen. Or is there steps already being prepared for this to happen, if need be? Pastor, there. Well, let me give you a hint. There is no right and left anymore. No, I know there's it's, no right and left. It's it's the establishment. No right it's the establishment, and then there's the people. It's it seems like the the establishment sits on both sides of the aisles. It's the establishment, and then there's the people. Is what it seems like we're viewing here. And I'm not talking about just people on the right. I mean just people on the left too. Just there's there's the establishment, and then there's the people. Because whoever heard of this? Whoever heard of Mitt Romney and both of the former presidents dusting off their feet and setting out a national convention and, and Romney's going to go fishing or something? I mean, whoever heard of such a thing in political history? So something's happening, Mike. Yeah, you see them doing what's called a, it's kind of like a handoff or handover. And, and um, this nation is by, to look at this nation, you would believe there is a, um, you know, that things can go back to normal, right? But here's what we face now. And it, it this ties into Israel, Pastor, there are already policies passed. They will have soldiers. Wall. Yeah. They will stop anybody from praying at the Wailing Wall. That's coming, and, and people are not going to, um, they're not going to like it. But then the Muslim community is so great, that's going to happen. Even right now, do you not know there are Thirteen seconds after the gun sounds, the fastest 3A girls in the state cross the finish line of the 100-meter run. Haynes's Natafon Wengyat is among them, but Wengyat's story is different than any other runner at the state championships. She was born a male. It is not fair and it is not right for our female athletes, and we have a responsibility to protect our, our girls that have worked really hard, that are working. You know, and if a person feels that they are born in the wrong body, who are we to tell them that they are not? What we need to do as loving and caring and supportive citizens of this whole world is to provide an opportunity and a solution. And that starts at a really young age. And we have that opportunity and solution. That comes with our line, that comes with our clothing. Well, a school sparking outrage for calling the sheriff's office on a seven-year-old for handing out, get this, Bible verses to classmates, a teacher at the elementary school in Southern California banning the Bible notes like these 
during lunch saying there should be a separation of church and state. A sheriff's deputy even showed up at the boy's house and told him and his mom to stop because someone might get offended. Well, this video is sparking outrage in the northwest suburbs. A business owner in diapers promoting a new adult baby store in Mount Prospect. You know, they're not having sex with their, their diapers on. They're, they're having people feed them and act like a baby. It's a business that many people find at best is tasteful but that is legal. Displaying a five and a half foot rocking horse, a seven foot crib, an oversized high chair, and an adult sized playpen. Things for people to come and play, take pictures. It's hard for us to swallow uh, in this community. The village attorney says it has no legal basis to deny it. I have no words for that story. All right, that was Audrina B. just from WVB. We're in South London at a pop-up restaurant called Bunyadi. But unlike most restaurants, this restaurant doesn't require you to wear any clothes. Let's see. Hello, I'm Ignacio, the architect and manager of the Buniari London, a restaurant where everything is naked. I'm going to try to put the pieces here together. In Europe, okay, in Europe, they just opened up a restaurant where you can go eat without having any clothes on and you're not allowed to bring your cell phone in. So everybody eating in this restaurant is naked. Now it may sound crazy to you, but there's 44,000, this says 29, it's wrong. As of today, there's 44,000 people on a waiting list to go eat at this restaurant that, I mean. And so the fact that we now go back to people eating naked with no cell phones, it's basically like, we evolved and then we went back to Adam and Eve at the start of time again. How can it be the height of culture that we're back to? I'd like to remind everybody that what you're reading in the 66 books that you call your Bible, you read in English. But a lot of the words that you eat, uh, read in English do not relate to what we know it to mean in English. It has a different connotation to it. For uh, an uh, example, in the book of Genesis, uh, in, uh, you read the book eight. Uh, Eve said she ate an apple. Well, in the true Aramaic, uh, eat comes from akal, which means to lay with. It doesn't mean what we figure it means in the English language, and that's why a lot of people have been so disorientated into what they believe and what they've been taught. Unity is so great that's going to happen. Even right now, do you not know there are 850,000 plus troops in Iran that are well trained and they're all coming back home from somewhere into Iran and they're not telling the people anything. Do you know that Italy is under threat by Iran? Right now, they're under threat by Iran. I, I, the, 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 I, Iran has made several threats. And um, we're, what we're looking at is a, 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 many things will begin to dissolve, and it's going to be left to the people inside of America. You know what I see happening to America? I see America pulled away like it's a blanket, right? With all the statues and everything else being pulled into one system, but the people are left behind, right? And the people are going to have to reestablish America by themselves. How that looks, I don't know. But everybody else is beginning to, they're leaving these ideologies in right. America. They're, they are leaving the hope of having the America that was established so long ago. And so the men of power have pulled away. They're being absorbed into something else. Well, well, I mean, that's my, is, I guess that is, when you find out. Mike, that is the greatest observation, putting it in perspective, I've heard yet, is that the men of power are dusting off their feet to the democracy, uh, to the uh, norm, normal democracy process, or this is a republic, I understand it, but we operate like a democracy. And so they're saying, you know what, it don't matter. You guys go ahead and put whoever you want in because we got bigger fish to fry. I mean, it is. A, this is what makes you think: are the are, are this are the elitist getting ready for the new world order? Is the new world order is this part of what you're talking about? Escorting people in, escorting people out, bluish charcoal, bluish vehicles. Is we're not talking about the United States changing hands maybe from democrat to republican or republican to democrat or from conservative to liberal or liberal to conservative but you're talking about something beyond that you're talking about 
a whole new culture and the people are left out. In other words, have no say so at all uh, because the Illuminati, the new world order is about ready to form. That's right, Pastor. We're looking at a global systematic change of all things and all the men in power being absorbed into another system, leaving all the people behind to reestablish by themselves. Now, they're going to have to make a decision. Are they going to join the larger establishment? Also take note of how many times you're beginning to hear about the U.N. in mainstream media. The U.N. passing this, the U.N. having to approve this, and, and understand that what the U.N. passes is a forceful law upon all lands, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there already has been a handover. There's been a handover already, and the U.N. has taken power already. And so everybody is checking through the U.N. being part of the U.N., and they have they have systematically established a type of global rule. There's not a country you can go into where U.N. forces are not running uh, the forces of right. the country. Right, right. Even Russia, even Russia. Now, Pastor, the... This, all this works in tandem with what's about to happen. There's no way in the world, given the current circumstances, they can do this without an overwhelming problem. Right? Yeah, yeah. So believe me, everything is being timed just right to a celestial event, right? So yeah. that when this takes place and volcanism is beyond belief and war ensues at that strategic time, Kim Jong-un, all these guys, there are certain things that we can no longer afford uh, to assume as innocent on on television. For instance, you reported uh, yesterday about um, um, Roosevelt, Texas, an IDE found, right? Right. And it just so happens to be the name of that's uh, Sasha's, um, Sasha Obama's uh, code name, right? That was associated with Sasha. And so now today you have a, 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 a problem or an incident that happened and the word democratic is associated with it. And again, uh, the communication around the world is often done through these codes, weird things that happen like this. So wait a minute. So you're saying, I reported it yesterday that IEDs were found under a bridge in in Rosebud, Texas. You're saying Rosebud is the Secret Service code name for Sasha Obama. And then today... Larry Britt just put it up in the chat room during the broadcast. There's been a shooting at a mall in Bethesda, Maryland on Democracy Boulevard. And you're saying that these are code words that are being, that are spoken or put into play that kicks in another gear of the arrival of the new world order or the one world government or the rise of the Antichrist. Uh, which is definitely, I can't, people will say to me, beg me, I don't want to hear about the Antichrist no more. I don't want to hear about it. Well, I'm sorry, but it's in this Bible. Well, what am I supposed to do? I could be like the rest of the fluffy, puffy, cotton candy preachers and not preach the book of Revelation and not preach the book of Daniel and not preach 2 Thessalonians 2 and ignore Jesus' words of the apocalypse in Matthew 24, Mark 13, and Luke 21. I mean, we could just walk away from all of that stuff but what in the world, how much blood would be on my hands then? I'm sorry. You know, and I think, Mike, you know this, that people have to get on the boat now. You had a dream, Mike. You had a dream in which you saw this boat, this barge. And I, and, and I was on the barge telling people, get on the boat. Can you share that just a little bit? Because I think that ship's about ready to pull out. Well, I can tell you to this day, you, I get nervous every time you go somewhere, but here's how it happened. It was in the summer, actually. Okay, okay. And there was, people were gathering around at this place. And it was in summer, people were gathering around this place. They, at first they would come with, they were wearing any type of clothing. As they began to sit there, their clothing was changing into a, they, their clothing was turning into a newness. Now this is part, I didn't know anything about you when I had this dream at all, nothing. Ziltro. And, and then, um, this, I heard, are you serious, in the distance. And so this guy with a shirt that had patterns of leaves and things like that on it, it was just like that shirt you wore in Florida, which which uh, uh, Angela brought to my attention. I still and have we that. both had made our, you know, that both got our attention. Anyway, coming around this corner on the boat, that's who everybody was waiting on, but it was you on that boat. I didn't know anything about you. 
Okay, so just a recap then of our uh, breaking news this hour. 20, 25 people have been shot in a mass shooting at a, a gay nightclub in Orlando in America, uh, in Florida. We'll uh, be keeping across this this morning and uh, as soon as we get more information, we'll bring it straight to you. Come around the boat and the sun and people were sitting there as they were sitting there on that boat or on the uh, waiting for the boat waiting to get on the boat here's what they were doing some people were saying well i've got to go back and take care of this financial thing right yeah. and they went back they never came back mm. nobody who went to go take care of anything would ever go back and i was being thrust in many different circumstances into many different people's shoes as the boat came around when these people would go back to take care of something they were trying to walk back and these black things were falling from the sky directly into them now this what i felt when they would fall on these people was far beyond death it was something worse than death that came upon these people they were absolutely totally lost but as these people were gone the other people when i looked back they were in total whiteness they, they were total white and the sun was going down the children were there people were there and um it was real beautiful anybody who had a reservation a hang-up right anything they had to go back to do people were saying well i, I there, there was one particular person in there said i can't be here i need my medication if i don't have my medication i'm not going to feel well and i won't you know i need to get it and they were thinking about it but they never left another person did go back and get it and they never came back so at that but it was a time no one expected anything to happen the sun went down when no one expected it to happen it didn't go down at the right time pastor and it was when the sun started going down that was it that was the end of that now this place i can still see that place it was it looked like um it looked like a it wasn't a you know one of these modern day cities it looked like a small place that you were coming to preach in and you were on that boat pulling in it was a they were waiting on you to get there the sun fell down when you got there when you were all together and that's why even to this day i'll call you a marker in time angela and i talk about it because i can't you know that's something i can't uh, ignore and this was a probably about a year before I ever knew anything about you and then when I first heard you and you said are you serious I think I fell out of my chair <laughs> those things that came out right. of the, out of the uh, skies were purpose for those they were they were purpose for those who did not give their all to being um, true to their faith any type reservation in a person's faith right where they are undecided whether to go all the way through or not will discount them now if a person has a hang-up and some of them did they were turned white while they were there because they were trying everything they could try right to right. to stay in the congregation of the saints yeah right that's yeah. what they were doing and um your ministry here's what's funny too now um i told you about that a long time ago yeah and what is the company that you're on satellite TV with? Let's see. Let's right? see. Yes, let's see. Let's see. Now, what are the chances? What in the world are the chances of that? And and so that's another marker to, to, to that just validates some things, right? Right. And I couldn't believe that happened. So w when I'm looking at this and when you go somewhere, I'm looking at the nature of what the people are doing. Now, they are gathering around. I think that, I think that gathering represented the people who are really... Uh, searching for Christ and yeah. Christ only. They were really coming to Christ. Yes, they had hang-ups and everything else, but while they stayed there in the congregation, they were being made white. And wouldn't you know it in Revelation, it says they, they, they made their, made robes, their white robes in the blood of the Lamb. Yes, right. that's right. That's, they made and their, they robes, made their white. robes white. Right. Then that is a voluntary acceptance of what Christ has for us. Those are people who refuse to walk away from Christ no matter what's wrong with them. Right. They, their clothes were turning white. And, but the other people who said, no, well, I've got to get this straight first and then I can do it. They never came back at this time. And the, they and never so, came back if, and, and they didn't expect it. So did, did, so did people have to start getting on the ship? Is, is that part of what happened in that dream? The people who walked you know, when, away when never come sun, back. Yeah. No, they didn't come back. 
after the sun went down, nobody could ever, nobody came back to the congregation. When the sun went down, the congregation was the congregation. And that's when every, everybody was leaving. But anybody who went back never came back never to the congregation, back. nor were they cleaned by staying in the, anybody who stayed in the congregation, and some were very dirty, right? Some were filthy, barely making it. All of them were turned, to, their clothing was turned totally white. Praise God. Right? Praise their God. clothing was transformed. It was made anew, turned totally white. Totally yes. white. Even your shirt turned totally white. Totally yes. white. Praise God. And uh, so everybody's everything turned totally white. When they stayed in the congregation, anybody who stepped away from that congregation to take care of affairs or anything else, they never came back and these black things descended upon them. And believe me, when it, when it descended upon them, it was absolute destruction. It was something well beyond death. Yeah. Well beyond that. Yeah. And, um, Judge, you know, that horrified me because after that vision, I said, Lord, don't, don't ever let me not be ready for right. this time. Right. Coming. And it's right. true. That's, That's uh, the dream you had. You always stand ready. Amen. I mean, the dream, the dream you had, uh, is very biblically based. And that is, you know, you have to get your robes made white in the blood of the lamb. And, uh, and so that is a process. People come to Christ, they get born again, and then, of course, through the cleansing of the blood of Jesus Christ, we're, we are made acceptable. We are the bride of Christ, and then we're made acceptable for his return. And if you go, and even Jesus says, don't go away, don't come down off the house, don't say, I got to go take care of this, because no one ever leaves to go take care of something in this Bible. They never come back. Uh, even the uh, even the five foolish virgins, you know, they never they never they miss the wedding, they miss the banquet, and uh, you know you just can't. You got to come just as you are, and whether you're filthy in sin or whether you think you're all right, we're all sinners saved by grace. We've all sinned to come short of the glory of God. The Bible tells us none are righteous, not one, and so we're made clean by the power of Jesus's. Uh, blood through the resur through the resurrection power of Christ through the mercy and the grace of God and our faith in Him is what sets us free and uh, so don't go back don't go looking somewhere else don't 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 run over here stay and be ready in an hour you think not the Bible says the Son of Man will come uh, it's fascinating uh, Michael Camel okay, uh, let's one more one more question here. So, and that's just, that is such a powerful dream, and and when I hear it, when you when I hear it, I'm fascinated by it because I realize it was even before you ever met me. Um, but the one thing is, we, we go back to the martial law for one second. Um, what what I'm hearing you say, what T. D. Hale saw, and what Glenna Jackson revealed was a transition of power under great chaos and whether that however the power process takes place there was great chaos and um, I don't I don't you know I don't know if that means violence in the streets or if that's political chaos or there's assassinations going on who knows you know let me ask you a question though CERN let's go to CERN because the weasel I mean help me understand the weasel shutting down CERN. I mean, are we being, is this just smoke and mirrors by once again the elitist? Well, you know what? It, it, uh, maybe it's true, Pastor Paul. I haven't really looked into it, right? Because I had to laugh myself when I heard it. <laughs> right. Uh, because they spend all that time in security and everything else, and then one of God's most, you know, um, mundane creatures comes in and can ruin. Uh, you know, uh, multi-billion dollar experiment. So that's that's kind of funny. Um, that's God's humor. I mean, that could definitely that could definitely be God's humor. I mean, that's no doubt about that. But go ahead. Yeah, and it's really reminiscent of that scripture when he says he uses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Right. Um, which, 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 you know, kind of makes you pay attention. No matter what they have, no matter what's made in the world, God can, God can destroy an entire army through bugs if He desired to. I had an analogy before, but um, 
you know, you think of that, and, and then you see, well, you know, the Lord can truly do what he, what, um, you know, what he has already declared he's going to do. But this CERN issue with the, with the weasel, I think these guys are messing up myself. Um, Pastor, every time I think of CERN, I, I can only see them causing a massive explosion and so much for that facility and the personnel in that facility. I don't foresee that ending very well. Um, it is a, it, it's in the nature of most people that when you have accomplished something like that, you can get you, you can be, become careless, or, or and the Lord will only let them venture so far, All right. Right? only so far, um, because um, well, He has already made some declarations, but I don't foresee something good happening under the ground at CERN. It is in fact a contained uh, something a little more powerful than a nuclear explosion. And the magnetic influences of that are doing nothing but feeding or, or changing the dynamo um, uh, physics in the Earth, which is magma, by the way. And so uh, I just don't foresee that ending very well. I have a hint of what they're trying to do. It wouldn't make sense to most people because In it's... northern Sumatra, Indonesia, killed three people and critically injured others who were working on nearby farms. Witnesses said Saturday's blast from Mount Sinabung shot volcanic ash as high as two miles into the air and ash tumbled down the slopes for three miles. Several homes had been destroyed and first responders were busy trying to douse the flames on burning trees. The volcano became active again in 2010 and has since had a series of small and powerful explosions. I've been here for 16 years and nothing like this has been so extreme. It's insane. It's just mind-blowing. Like, watching the waves come up yesterday was just out of control. It's as big as I've seen it for 20 years, mate. At Cronulla last night... The waterfront restaurant was swallowed up by the massive swell. And then got a show, sea level restaurant living up to its name as giant waves washed through the glass windows. Disconnected from what's actually happening, but I have to say again, these guys, they know about uh, fallen angels, they know about demons, they're scared to death of both. Um, they know that people are walking, uh, just like in the book of Jude, it confirms there are people walking in this earth that are ancient people. Ancient people. Yeah, I know. It's they're, a, they're not uh, what you think they are. They're fallen. And so yeah. it is within them to do what they do, but the Lord will only let them go so far. But God can surely use any of his own creation to distort the, the, the uh, any any uh, creation of magnitude mankind built. Um, can you imagine that? Uh, a weasel against CERN and the weasel wins. <laughs> uh, uh, that's what made me laugh. I mean, and the fact that they would be willing to even say that that's what happened, but it's so unbelievable that, that, that but it is believable. I totally believe that right. God can send in a weasel to disrupt a multi-billion dollar operation, especially if that operation is trying to, trying to break through another uh, dimension. Trying to open the gates of hell, trying to trying to escape into a <laughs> another dimension. Uh, you know, who knows what God can do anything. And God confounded Nimrod and the, when they were building the tower and confounded them with their languages. So just simple thing. You guys can't communicate with each other. You're all talking a different language. I mean, this is the kind of things God. We got breaking news out there. Uh, someone has just been shot on the westbound I-94. Uh, in Detroit so they've shut the whole freeway down which of course that will create total chaos I-94 runs between Chicago and Detroit um, so anyway we got more chaos out there But and I think, uh, thank you Larry for that report I, I think Mike we're going to see more and more chaos aren't we people's, people's hearts are, uh, are just full of wickedness yeah iniquity is certainly right it certainly is and uh, you know what, Pastor? I just hope that people stay in abide in Christ and His doctrine. These are very confusing times. It is so very easy to give in to the flesh in these days. But Amen. to abide in Christ is to, is to actually secure your existence. And the fact is, He doesn't need us. He loves us. Amen. Mike, thanks for coming on today. I appreciate it so much. Some really fascinating information. I'll be scratching my head for a while on this uh, underground and above ground dryness, you name some key states, and also charcoal, 
bluish vehicles escorting someone up the steps and someone else down the steps. I'm going to be keeping my eyes open for that. That's for sure. Thanks for coming on, Mike. Appreciate it very much. God bless you, Pastor. God bless. God bless you. Amen.